I don't know about you guys, but whenever I see a speedboat like this, I'm half expecting to see James Bond rock up. Just thought I'd plant that thought out there. What are you looking at? Is that nice? Grass. Welcome back guys, welcome back after about a mile and a half of stomping on tarmac I've just passed through a lush forest called Rawlinson Nab and I'm pleased to be back by the waterside. Just behind me there you can see some sailing yachts, it's always a shame to see them anchored or moored up and also out on the lake you can see one of the passenger ferries heading in the direction of Newby Bridge which is where I left off this morning. Why don't you walk with me? As I head in the general direction of Ambleside. It's been a good walk today and as always Good to see other people out walking as well, enjoying the fresh air, embracing Mother Nature, connecting with the elements. It's quite, it's quite an undulating and challenging route so far. Quite a few steep climbs and descents and tricky, slippery footpaths. But so far it's all good, my friends. As I walk today and tomorrow around the infamous Lake Windermere. I said it earlier, this is not walking the Corfu Trail, nor is it the Cleveland Way which I walked earlier this year basking in sunshine this is autumnal hiking my friends autumn and its colours it's quite overgrown in places as well result of the sunshine and the rain and I'm guessing the lush soil by the edge of the lake but it's not cold I've got a good pace going on and just behind me there is Lake Windermere not bad eh? not a bad place to be around half past two on a Thursday so I'm gonna push on and get some more miles in I'm hoping to arrive in Ambleside at around half past four or five o'clock today. Get checked in to my accommodation for the night. Have a little explore around Ambleside before getting in some food. Probably an early night. So I can set off early in the morning. 
done a little bit of research on uh, circumnavigating Lake Windermere and uh, the general consensus is anywhere between 30 and 35 miles so I'm going to knock it out over two days obviously today and tomorrow but I want to get on the road bright and early tomorrow and get the miles in because as I stated earlier from my village which is Barton in North Yorkshire it took me best part of three hours to get here today so I'd like to get back to my car which is at Newby Bridge at around maybe half past two, three o'clock tomorrow. It's a perfect little spot for me to say goodbye for now. I'll just get up onto this little troll bridge that you can see behind me there. Inland. And then out across Lake Windermere. I believe in the far distance, just over my shoulder, up there is Windermere itself. So that would confirm that I'm probably about halfway through today's route, maybe just over. So I'll catch up with you all further up the path. I don't know about you guys, but to me, it doesn't look as if this sad little upturned dinghy numbered 62968 has seen much action for quite some time. What a shame. Welcome back to the Lake District. Welcome back to Lake Windermere. It's hot and humid and sticky today. But no sunshine. Boo. Anyway, let me cut to the chase. I wasn't back from Kefalonia from my sailing adventures for too long before I started to get itchy feet once again and I had to plan another adventure, another explore. But I didn't want to go too far and I didn't want to spend too much money. So I thought, what can we do that's reasonably close by that will be a good challenge somewhere I haven't been before, two days, maybe three, that costs me no more than a hundred quid. So I thought, I know, let's circumnavigate Lake Windermere, solo hike. A nice little stroll around Lake Windermere. Not exactly a gentle stroll, to be honest, my friends. I'm being offered a little bit of respite now on a bit of level ground with a few gentle but slippy descents. But to get here, 
I had about 40 minutes of gut wrenching climbing that was so steep and so slippery. It was unbelievable. It was reminiscent of my toughest days on the Cleveland Way, probably taking in three sisters and the hottest and toughest day or days on the Corfu Trail, which would have been to the summit of Mount Pantocrata. So a word of advice, my friends, if you are thinking of walking around Lake Windermere, it's not for the faint hearted or those lacking commitment, willpower and determination. So far, this has been one mega epic hike. Now I've just checked my maps and my GPS and I reckon that I'm about two thirds, maybe three quarters of the way through today's hike, which is from the southernmost foot of Lake Windermere, which is Newby Bridge, to what I perceive to be the northernmost tip or point of the lake, which is Ambleside. I'm making good progress, but trust me, my friends, when I say this is hard work and tough going in parts, believe me, this is hard work and tough going in parts. Don't forget, I spent nine back-to-back -back days walking the Corfu Trail in July in temperatures in excess of 35 and 40 degrees. I was walking from half past seven in the morning, some days till half past five, six o'clock. So to say that I have some experience in long distance, back-to-back, -back, solo extreme hiking, could be an understatement. But this two-day hike around Lake Windermere I think is going to be up there with some of the toughest two-day challenges I might ever take on. You live and learn. And the more you push yourself and challenge yourself, the more you maketh the man or the woman before I'm accused of being sexist. Let me just get down here. It's so slippery in parts as well. So I'm gonna push on guys, but that's where I've come down. You can just see there, you can just see the shimmer on the slate. And I'm heading down, down there, down that path, down into the depths. We're headed in a north east or northerly direction, I think now. So we are going the right way, which is a bonus. So I'll catch you all in a short while. One day you go.